Hello friends, <clears throat> in our previous lecture, we have started the shortcut method for regression coefficient that is B and we have seen the two formulas means what is the change in the formula comparing to the previous chapter. In previous chapter, whether you use UV method or you use video method with scale or without scale, the formula has no change because both the terms are used of U and of V. But as you know, in this chapter, we are not using the terms of Y, so we are not using the terms of V also. So, whenever you are using with scale transformation, the formula should be multiplied by CY upon CX, which we are dividing the values. Only that is the change. In our previous lecture, we have uh, started exercise 3.2 and we have completed sum number 1 and sum number 2 without scale transformation. Now, we have to compulsorily use scale transformation that is from sum number 3, 4 and 5. Let's do it. On page number 136, it is given. From the following information of altitude and the amount of effective oxygen in the air at a place, obtain regression line of amount of effective oxygen Y on altitude X. 305 meter is equals to, means similar to 1000 feet. A, uh, uh, a measure is given that 305 meter is equals to 1000 feet. Altitude again in C, compare this sum with first sum. In first sum, the consumption of fertilizer was 10 per kg. So, for taking the value of x, we have directly not taken 300, we have divided 300 by 100. So, uh, sorry, 300 by 10, we have taken as 30. In the same way, here unit is per 305 meter. So, let's see what's given in the question. Altitude 305 meter that is x effective oxygen in percentage that is y if altitude of a place is 7 unit where 1 unit is equals to 305 meter here also unit is 305 per meter there also unit is 305 per meter so we should directly take x is equals to 7 only because because here directly 7 is in units 7 is in units and that unit is then as 1 unit is equals to 305 meters and in x also the unit is 305 here also the unit is 305 so nothing is to be changed but compare this thing with the first sum in first sum the unit was 10 per kg and the given fertilizer was 300 kg so 300 divided by 10 in that way 30 has come here they have given uh, calculator here they were calculated and given that unit of x is 305 per meter and in the sum only if they are telling if the altitude is 7 units directly take x is equals to 7 and they are clearing that 1 unit is equals to 305 meters so their unit is also 1 305 in the question also it is 305 so nothing is to be changed estimate the percentage of effective oxygen of air in that place ok so we are solving this sum So exercise 3.2 we are going to solve third sum altitude 305 meter that is our x effective oxygen that is our y and it is in percentage then u is equals to x minus here we are taking scale transformation so don't write a v is equals to y minus again here also we are taking scale transformation so don't write anything u v u square 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 20.9 20 point 1 19.4 17.9 17.9 again 17.3 16.6 let me draw the lines
sigma x, sigma y, sigma u, sigma v, sigma uv, sigma u square. x bar is equals to sigma x by n. y bar is equals to sigma y. Zero plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six. Twenty one. Twenty one divided by not six but seven because including zero. So it is three units or we can say three hundred pi per meter. Three units or three hundred pi meter. So the unit is three hundred pi meter. Then when 20.9 upon 7 it's 18.585 so 59 percentage yes now okay you now Here there are no, there is no such big values, so scale is actually not required. It is three, and if we take three, then this u should be zero. Why? Because we are exactly taking, we are exactly taking the mean only, so it should be zero, and it will be zero only. And nothing is to be divided because these values are small. Nothing should be divided. So if nothing is divided, right one, because here in this chapter. If we are nothing, we are dividing. Then it should be one because we have to use that thing in formula. This is C X. This is C X. Okay, zero minus so zero minus three by one. So zero minus three is minus three. Then minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. See how zero minus three, minus three by one. So one minus three by one is minus three. Then one minus three is minus two. Minus two by one is minus two. Two minus three is minus one. Minus one by one is one. Three minus three is zero. Four minus three is one by one is one. Five minus three is two. Two by one is two. Six minus three is three. Three by one. See, by one is just a formality. Why it is just a formality? Because whenever we are not dividing anything, then it should be one. By mistake, if you are writing zero, then it's your fault. Okay. So now see, minus three plus three, minus two plus two, minus one plus one. So it will be zero. And this is the benefit of it. Now here we have to take the scale, and which value we will take? Seventeen point nine, as it is repeating. Now we will divide by zero point one because after decimal we have one one point in each, so we will divide by zero point one. So twenty point nine minus seventeen point nine divided by zero point one is twenty point one minus seventeen point nine divided by zero point one is twenty. 17.9 minus 17.9 is zero. Here also it will be zero. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's 19.4. Now 19.4 minus 17.9 divided by 0.1 is 15. Now it will be zero, zero because the values are same. Then 17.3 minus 17.9 divided by 0.1 is minus 6. 16.6. Do in your calculator. 16.6 minus 17.9 divided by 0.1 is minus 30. So 30 plus 22 plus 15 minus 6 minus 30 is 48. Okay, check once. 30, 20, 30, 22, 15 minus 6 minus 30 is 40. Now you be 33s are minus 90, 22s are minus 44, 15 ones are minus 15, zero ones are zero, zero ones are zero. 62s are minus 12, 13s are minus 39. So everything is in minus. So 90, 44, 15, 12, 39. It's 200. Everything is in minus. Yes. Now u square. Nine four one zero one four nine. It's very easy because these are the squares. So nine four one one four nine. It's twenty eight. Regression line y on x 
first step and see this is C y writing in the bracket this is C y 0 0.1 first step is regression coefficient now friends we have taken scale transformation ok here we have not taken but here we have taken so what will be the formula b is equals to n into sigma u b minus sigma u divide to multiply sigma v n into sigma u square minus sigma u whole square multiply c y by c x in second chapter this term was not required but in this chapter it is required because here u v terms are not there ok n is 7 u v is 200 sigma u is 0 sigma v is 48 divided by n is 7 u square is 28 minus u whole square is 0 whole square multiply c y v is 0 0.1 and c x is nothing so we have taken as 1 don't take it as 0 so 1400 minus 0 divided by 28 into 7 196 minus 0 multiply 0 0.1 by 1 is 0 sorry 0 0.1 divided by 1 is 0 0.1 itself so 1400 upon 196 into 0 0.1 <coughs> 1400 into 0 0.1 divided by 196 0 0.71 4 is there so b is 0 0.71 ok don't forget to multiply cy by, by cx that space is not there. I am doing it here. Second step is intercept A is equals to Y bar minus PX bar. Y bar is 18.59 minus B is 0 0.71 and X bar is 3. 18.59 minus 0 0.71 into 3 is 2.13. So 18.59 minus 2.13 is 16.46. A is 16.46. Sorry, I have made a mistake. Actually, it is minus 200. Okay? I have made a single mistake. Everywhere this minus 200 will come. So here it will be minus 1400 minus 0 so here also it will be minus and here also it will be minus and this will change total see this is my mistake I am doing it again everything I am doing it again ok that's not a problem for me by mistake I have added but it is minus sign ok this is my mistake so n is 7 u v is minus 200 minus sigma u is 0 sigma v is 48 divided by n is 7, u square is 28, u whole square is 0 square, multiply 0 0.1 divided by 1. So, minus 1400 minus 0 divided by 196 minus 0, multiply 0 0.1 by 1 is 0.1. So, minus 1400 divided by 196 into 0 0.1. So, 1400 minus into 0 0.1 divided by 196, so it is minus 0 0.71 this is my slight mistake in writing ok because of it the whole sum is changed now y bar is 18.59 minus minus 0 0.71 into 3 so 18.59 minus minus plus 0 0.71 into 3 is 2.13 so add it 20.72 ok so intercept B A is 0 0.20.72 Now third is fitted regression line Space is little bit less So I am writing in this way Y gap is equals to A plus B X Y gap is equals to 20.72 plus minus 0 0.71 X So y gap is equals to 20.72 plus minus minus 0 0.71 x actually this is the equation last step estimation again i will repeat for estimation ok if they are 
if altitude of place altitude is x is 7 units directly see they are not talking about meter they are talking directly 7 units and they are explaining that they have calculated 7 units by 1 unit is equal to 305 meter so find the percentage of effective oxygen if altitude is 7 units and 1 unit is equal to 305 meter therefore x is equal to 7 then effective oxygen y is equal to question see here we know that unit is 305 per meter but in question they are directly calculating 7 only and how 1 unit is equal to 305 so their unit is also 305 here also 305 so no change but here if it is 10 kg and then directly they are giving them 300 divided by 10 what we have done in first question so y cap is equal to a plus bx y cap is equal to 20.72 minus 0.71x y cap is equal to 20.72 minus 0.71 multiply 7 20.72 minus 0.71 into 7 4.97 20.72 minus 4.97 is 15.75 percentage Okay. This was the column x bar and y bar. Here unit is 305 per meter. Here also it is 3 per 5 meter. So we have not changed. First step B. Uh, don't forget to multiply Cy by Cx because this is scale transformation. Then A intercept, then fitted regression line plus minus will become minus and 7 units is directly calculated. So we have kept the value and found the answer. So this was the first sum for shortcut method. Now we are going for the next sum that is fourth sum. Okay, so I will even look to the fourth sum. The following information is obtained to study relationship between carpet area in a house and its monthly rent in a city. Carpet area is x, monthly rent is y. Obtain regression line y on x. Estimate monthly rent if the house is having square foot of 110. See in this question, for all the question we found x bar and y bar. In this question x bar and y bar both are integers. So it means that we have to use x minus x bar method if we are using it's not a problem but square of these big values which are in y will be very very much and zeros will be more. So for that we are using uv with scale because the values are such.
sigma x, <coughs> sigma y, sigma u, sigma v, sigma u v, sigma u z. 55, 60, 75, 80, 100, 120, 140, 630. X bar is equal to sigma x by L, 630 divided by 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 90 square meter. Y bar is sigma y by L, 18,000, 19,000, 20,000, 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, 50,000. 1 lakh 82,000 divided by 7. 26,000 rupees. Now here we will clear one note. <coughs> note is that. X bar and Y bar both are integers but values in question of Y are too large that squares cannot be taken comma so Instead, we will use UV with scale transformation. And again, I will repeat, any method you use, your answer will be same of P. If for P, now we have learned three formulas, any formula you use, your answer will be same. So what I will do, X bar and Y bar, both are integers. But when using question of Y are too large, that squares cannot be taken. So instead we will use UV with scale transformation. Yeah. Now it is 90. So any value 90 is given, so then it will become 0. 90 is not there, so nearest value 100. Now see, we can cancel the values. Because the values are big, we can cancel the values and all are multiples of 5. All does not have 0, then we have divided by 0. But all can be divisible by 5, so we have divided by 5. 55 minus 100 divided by 5 minus 9. 60 minus 100 by 5 minus 8. 75 minus 100 by 5 minus 5. 80, 80 minus 100 by 5 minus 4. 100 minus 100 by 5 0. 120 minus 100 by 5 4. 140, mi 140 minus 100 by 5 8. So, Minus 9, minus 8, minus 5, minus 4, plus 8. Sorry. Minus 9, minus 8, minus 5, minus 4, plus 4, plus 8. It's minus 14. Now, for y. Nearest value is 25,000, but instead 20,000 is repeated, so we shall take 20,000 only. Now each value has how much minimum zeros, not maximum zeros. Maximum are 4, but in each there are 3, 3 zeros. So write 3 zeros at 1, so divide it by 1,000. So our Cx will be 5, our Cy will be 1,000. Okay? Yes. 18,000. Minus 20,000 divided by 1,000, it becomes directly minus 2. Then 19,000 minus 20,000 divided by 1,000 minus 1. Then for 20,000, 20,000 it is 0. 25,000 minus 20,000 divided by 1,000. 5. 30,000 minus 20,000 divided by 1,000. 10. 50,000 minus 20,000 divided by 1,000. So minus 2, minus 1, plus 5, plus 10, plus 30, 42. Okay, now multiplication. Minus minus plus 9 2 are 8. Minus minus plus 8 ones are 8. 5 zeros are 0, 4 zeros are 0. 5 zeros are 0. 5 into 0, 4 into 0, 5 into 0, 3 are zeros. 4 tens are 40. 8 3s are 24 means 240. 
so 18 8 40 to 40 306 u square 9 square 81 8 square 64 5 square 25 4 square 16 0 0 4 square 16 8 square 64 81 64 25 16 16 64 
y cap is equal to a plus b x, y cap is equal to minus 3495.7 plus 327.73 x. Minus 3495.7 plus 327.73 multiply 110. Minus 3495.7 plus 327.73 multiply 110. 36050.3. 36, 0, sorry, 3495.7 in minus plus 36050.3. So it is 32,554.6. So friends, this sum is about when x bar and y bar are integers, it is okay, but values are very large. We have to compulsorily use scale transformation because of these values. Other things are same. Now we are having last sum for this method. After that, all the big sums of exercise are over. Then exercise 3, some of the sums I will give as homework, some of the sums I will solve personally. So big for big sums are now last left, last sum left, fifth sum. Let's go for fifth sum. The following sample data is obtained to study the relationship between number of customers visiting a mall per day and the sales in 10,000 rupees. So number of customers are x, sale is 10,000. Now don't worry about that 10,000 because it is given in y. If it is given in x such thing then we have to worry. Obtain regression line y of x. Estimate the sales. 80 customers have visited the mall. So here also scale transformation because here decimal values are given. So this is fifth sum. Number of customers x sales 10,000 rupees that is y. See, learn the sums what I am telling. After that, whenever I am giving the homework, most of you are uh, sending the works which are done in the class, not doing the homework. I am giving so much hints in uh, second chapter from section E and F, I have given the sums and I have given all the hints that what is to be taken, which method is to be taken. So learn how I am doing. Then you have practiced by yourself. No problem, you are at home. We will solve your doubts after when we are meeting. But try to solve at home, maximum you can. Okay? Yeah. U is equals to X minus, V is equals to Y minus, U, V, U. 57. 170. 2.0, 2.0. 
sigma u, sigma v, sigma u v, sigma u v. X bar is sigma x by L. Y bar is sigma y bar. 50, 70, 100, 70, 150, 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 6. It is 93.33 customers. Two point zero, two point zero, two point five, one point four, four point zero, two point five, fourteen point four divided by six. It's two point four. Ten thousand rupees. Okay. Now. 93.33 is x bar. So nearest value is 70 as it is repeating also. See, you can see 70 repeating value also. All values are 110. So let us take 10. This will be our 6. Okay, 50 minus 70 divided by 10 minus 2 here 0. 100 minus 70 divided by 10 3. Here it will be 0. 150 minus 70 divided by 10 8. 120 minus 70 divided by 10 is 5. So minus 2 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5 40. Okay. Now for y, nearest value is 2.5 and that is repeating. 2 also is repeating. So 2.5 divided by each value as 1 is equal to so 0.1. Okay. That is c y. Now 2.0 minus 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 minus 5. Again minus 5 because same way. Then it will be 0. Now 1.4 minus 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 is minus 11. 4.0 minus 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 is 50. And here it will be 0. So minus 5, minus 5, minus 11 plus 50, minus 6. Minus minus plus 5 zeros are 10, 5 zeros are 0, 3 zeros are 0, 11 zeros are 0, 15 eggs are 120, 5 zeros are 0, total is 130, maximum values are 0 only. This is the benefit. When this is repeating and this is also repeating, most of the values will become 0. Now you square. 2 square is 4, 0, 0, 3 square is 9, 0, 0, 8 square is 64, 5 square is 25. 4, 9, 64, 25, 1, 0, 2. Okay. Regression line y on x. Regression line y on x. Number 1. Regression coefficient b is equals to n into sigma u v minus sigma u multiply sigma v divided by n into sigma u square minus sigma u whole square multiply c by c. Okay. n is 6, u v is 130, sigma u 40, sigma v minus 6 divided by n is 6, u square is 102, u whole square is 40 whole square, multiply c y is 0 0.1 and c x is 10. 130 into 6, 7, 8, minus minus plus, minus minus plus 14, 6 is 84, divided by 102 into 6, 612 minus 14 square, 196 multiply 0 0.1 divided by 10, 0 0.01. 
Second step, intercept A is equals to y bar minus bx bar, y bar is 2.4, b is 0 0.02 and x is 93.33, x bar is 93.33. So 2.4 minus 0 0.02 multiply 93.33 it's 1.866 so 87 so 2.4 minus 1.87 is 0 0.53 so our a intercept is 0 0.53 now third step fitted regression line y cap is equals to a plus bx 0 0.53 plus 0 0.02x so this is our equation then next number 4 estimation Let's read. Obtain regression line y of x. Estimate sales. Sales is y. If 80 customers, customers are x, have visited the mall on that day. If 3.2 that if the uh, values are large than 50 but not that much large than for 3.2 first and second sum we have not used scale transformation so formula will not have cy by cx and whenever you are using cy uh, whenever you are using scale transformation cy by cx should be done but in second chapter whenever we are taking scale transformation it is not required it is required in only chapter number 3 now you have to remember because here y terms is not there or v terms is not there this thing is required in the previous chapter all the terms are there so that is not required and in this way simply in each sum there are four steps first is always b dependent on formula then a's formula is fixed this is only a equation to make just we have to put the value of a and b very simple and this is very easy because always in question x is given and we have to find y very simple and it will carry five minutes so all the big questions are over now tomorrow we shall look the remaining sums are there for small formulas that are four types 
Big formulas are three types, small formula are four types, so total there are seven formulas. All these steps will remain same. Now we don't have to draw the columns, things will be given, but what is the thing? Four new formulas for me. So that's all for today. Thank you so much.